first and most important function of sweating is thermoregulation. During exercise, hot environment, and during stress situations. If person doesn't sweat he or she will get hot strike, because body cannot cooling itself. Beside this thermoregulatory function, wheating has variety of other functions. For example, sweat glands have also important excretory function. It looks like renal system, clearing excess micronutrients, metabolic waste, toxicants, and water. Three types of sweat gland exist. 1. Eccrine sweat glands, which are most prevalent and they are responsible for the highest volume of sweat. They distributed across nearly the entire body surface. Eccrine glands are responsible on thermoregulation. Eccrine glands number is same throughout life. So their density is high in childhood. That's why children lose heat faster than adults. Eccrine sweat is mostly water and NaCl, but also contains a mixture of many other chemicals originating from the interstitial fluid and the eccrine gland itself. Eccrine sweat glands respond to high temperature, also non-thermal stimuli related to exercise and are thought to be mediated by feedforward mechanisms related to central command, the exercise pressor reflex, muscle metabo and mechanoreceptors, asthma receptors, and possibly baroreceptors. Second is apoecrine glands. Apocrine sweat glands are located primarily in the axilla, breasts, face, scalp, and the perineum. Apocrine glands differ from eccrine glands in that, they are larger and open into hair follicles instead of onto the skin surface. And apocrine glands play a lesser role in overall sweat production. In addition, although present from birth, the secretory function of apocrine glands does not begin until puberty. Apocrine glands produce viscous, lipid-rich sweat, which is also comprised of proteins, sugars, and ammonia. The function of apocrine glands in many species is generally regarded as scent glands involved in production of pheromones, body odor, although this social sexual function is rudimentary in humans. Apoecrine sweat glands, a third type of sweat gland. It looks like apocrine and eccrine glands both that's why it has so strange name. Somewhere middle of them. Apoecrine glands develop from eccrine sweat glands between the ages of tilde 8 to 14 years. Like apoecrine glands, apoecrine glands are limited in distribution, as they are contained to only the axillary region. Thermal sweating is mediated predominantly by sympathetic cholinergic stimulation. Sweat production is stimulated through the release of acetylcholine from nonmyelinated class C sympathetic postganglionic fibers. Enhancement of sweating happens with heat acclimation and aerobic training, also when body core temperature increases. By contrast, dehydration has been shown to delay the sweating response, as hyperosmolality increases the body temperature threshold for sweating onset. Hypovolemia may reduce sweating sensitivity. Older adults exhibit a lower sweat output. This decline in sweating occurs gradually throughout adulthood. Dietary NACL doesn't have direct correlation on sweating. But it can increase thirst and eventually water intake. Dietary intake of other minerals, CA, FE, ZN, CU, and vitamins, ascorbic acid, thiamine, also don't have effect on sweating. Water ingestion increases sweating. But not mineral concentration in the sweat. Dehydration decreases sweating. Alcohol intake no effect on sweating rate. Exercise intensity has direct correlation with sweat production, also Na and Cl excretion. Altitude and hypoxia decreases sweat production. High body mass can increase sweat production. Sweat contains sodium, chloride, potassium, lactate, urea, ethanol and ammonia, bicarbonate, glucose and heavy metals like arsenic, lead, mercury, cadmium. Concentration is often higher in the sweat than in the plasma. This is possible detoxification mechanism for body to clean itself from heavy metals. Other toxins also can be presented in the sweat. Men exhibit higher sweating rates than women, men have a greater cholinergic responsiveness and maximal sweating rate than women. As we mentioned, the main function of sweat is thermoregulation. Second important function is skin protection. 
play a role in epidermal barrier homeostasis through its delivery of water, natural moisturizing factors, and antimicrobial peptides to the skin surface. Detoxication, sweat detoxifies body from heavy metals and other toxins. Also it excretes urea and other unfavorable metabolites. Substances can be lost via sweat. Sodium chloride of all the substances lost in sweat, Na, and Cl are lost in the highest concentrations. Therefore, it has been suggested that Na and Cl are the principal electrolytes whose loss may affect homeostasis. Now summarize what we should know about sweating. The main function of sweating is thermoregulation. Ecran sweat glands have a tremendous capacity to secrete sweat for the liberation of heat during exercise and exposure to hot environments. Ecran sweat glands reabsorb NaCl and bicarbonate to minimize loss of electrolytes. Ecran sweating may play a role in skin hydration and microbial defense, but additional research is required. The role of the sweat glands in eliminating waste products and toxicants from the body seems to be minor compared with other avenues of breakdown liver, and excretion, kidneys and gastrointestinal tract. Studies suggesting a larger role of sweat glands in clearing waste products or toxicants from the body, e.g. Concentrations in sweat greater than that of blood, may be an artifact of methodological issues rather than evidence for selective transport.